Hey everybody, here's my MSI uh, GT60 um, bare bones. It's a MS Force uh, 16F3. I got it from Exotic PC and it comes with a blue backlight keyboard, but I'm going to switch it to the 24 pro uh, programmable uh, color uh, Steel Series uh, keyboard. Uh, first, you got to Remove these screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I already did that, and then you gotta. Here's a little um, edge for you to pull out. Pull out. It won't be this easy, but you gotta pull out and then um, slowly pull everything off. So, um, mine came with just one hard drive, but I added two more hard drive. Uh, one 750 gig uh, Seagate hybrid and a 750 gig um, 7200 RPM worse than digital and then my optical bay uh, I took my DVD drive out and then put it a um, one terabyte uh, hard drive for more storage and now my uh, optical drive is an external DVD so oh yeah you also want to Disconnect this little plug right here. Excuse me. You gotta disconnect this little plug right here. Um, you unlatch it and then just pull it out. That's the backlight for the keyboard. And now, what you do next is you gotta remove this panel first before you get to the keyboard. So how you do it is, um, for mine, it's the GT60 series. So you gotta just um, pop open the side. There's a little, uh, little clip right here where you could just pop it off. So you gotta pop it off like that. And then just slowly pop it off on right here. Slowly pop it off. You know, you just take your time. And you gotta do that for the other side too. Okay. Once you get that, you gotta lift it up like this and then flip it. Also, your screen has to be all the way um, lean back. Now, <clears throat> now there are five screws on the keyboard that you gotta remove. So once you got the screws out, you gotta flip the keyboard. And then here's a little um, plug right here where you gotta uh, flip the tab again and then just pull it out like that. There, now this is the stock keyboard. And here is the still series keyboard. There you go, as you can see. They are identical, same layout, everything. Um, if they're not if they're not lit up, you can't even tell. And this is a this is the new one that I got. <clears throat> so first, what you want to do is, um, well, I'll take off all this plastic right here first. First of all, you want to. This is the back lid, so you want to stick this back in over here, back where the motherboard is. Just gonna stick it in all the way like this. Yep. And then once that's in, you should be good to go. Um, and then you gotta stick this one back in. Okay, that should be good. Um, now, 
this one came off, so you gotta put it back in. Okay, stick it in. And that should be good. Yep. Now, what you gotta do is just screw these back in. You gotta make sure it's aligned correctly. This is the most important part about the keyboard since it's the backlighting. Okay, that should be it. Now let's test it again. There you go, it's on. So it is compatible. Um, I've had somebody told me that it's not compatible with the bare bones version, but um, I don't know why they said that, but it's on right now, different colors. Um, Kellen feature allows me to make it one whole color if I want. Let's see, let's make it all orange. Let's make all red. Yep, it's working perfectly. Pretty nice. Let's try green. 
yeah, everything's good. So yeah, um, I'll show you guys how to put this back. So let me turn off the laptop. Um, I bought the keyboard from Frosty Computers on eBay. It was ninety nine dollars, but plus tax and shipping and everything, it came out to be uh, one hundred and twenty one. So yes, yeah, kind of expensive, pretty expensive. But I couldn't really just settle with the blue backlight keyboard. Clicking. All right. Should be good. <coughs> now what you want to do is put the back panel back on, just like this. A lot of clicking noises. Alright, that should be it. Now I'm just gonna screw it back in. This screw right here is for the keyboard. It's called a keyboard screw. Um, this one right here is a keyboard screw also. <clears throat> and then you just got four back panel screws. on again see how it goes let's go here um, see how it glows when it's a bit darker Yeah, the Steel Series keyboard is pretty nice. Um, no flex and stuff. So yeah, I mean here it is. I made it green. Uh, looks pretty good. So um, yeah, right here, just tested that the Steel Series keyboard, um, the 24 uh, colorable program one, uh, is able to work with the bare bones MSI. So yeah, um, again this laptop is the MSI Bare Bones um, GT60 uh, Force 16F3. Um, again, I got it from Exotic PC.